הקדוש בוקר טוב, מסכת כתובות דף נ"ו עמוד א' פ-56-A-1. סוסה זה גמרא, אלא תרוויו אז לבת תר אומדנה. What does that mean? He comes and he says like this, he says, both of them, Ravid and Rabbi Natan, they go after the Umdana. Also Ravid and also Rabbi Natan, both of them hold, and we go after what's in your mindset. What are you thinking? Right? That's what we want to know what you're thinking. That's what we're saying. So he says like this, Man de Amar, according to the Man de Amar, Halakha, that according to the Man de Amar, that Halakha is like Yilil Azam and Azariya, that he says that Darusa does not get the Tosefet, Shapir makes sense because we go after the Umdana. But according to the Mandama that we don't say Dalakha Zakir Bidam Zaman Azariya, which means that he does get the Tosefet, Hachanami Umdan Datahu. It is the Umdana. Mishumi Kruve Datahu. Because he wants her to become closer to him. So it is becoming closer. Which means this. When a person is engaged, right, he wants to be very close to the girl. He wants to impress her. He wants to, you understand? So, so what happens? So what does he do? He comes and he butters her up. So how does he butter up? He, he acts very nicely. He, yeah, he opens the door for her. If she falls, the, you know, pays the, the he pays this, that, right, 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 right after, right afterwards, after marriage, oh, home, everything is completely different. Yeah, I can say, everything is different. So he comes and he says like this, he says, here, there's also a kiruv dat. The kiruv dat was, right, the kiruv dat is, is that you don't want, right, are you listening? The kiruv dat is, is that you don't want, right, that he wants to impress her. So therefore, even the extra she should get. Okay, Yati Rav Chanina. So Rav Chanina was sitting down, yeah. Vekara Kame, and he was a baki in the parashiot. So he comes and he reads in front of Rabbi Anai. Okay, he's reading in front of Rabbi Anai. Amen. And he says as follows, yeah. Vekara Kame to Rabbi Anai. Vekama and he said alachaz like the zemen azadiyah. Amale he tells him pukari kracha libra. Go teach that outside. Why we don't hold that? In halacha kerebil azam nazaria. I'm going to say with the Rav Dimi Mishum Rabenu halacha kerebil azam nazaria. But Rav Yisab Rav Dimi says name of Rabenu of Rav. The halacha is like kerebil azam nazaria. So I'm Rav Nachman Mishmuel says Rav Nachman Mishmuel halacha is like kerebil azam nazaria. Rav Nachman did the other. Rav Nachman himself said the halacha is not like kerebil azam nazaria. So look how many machlokot you have. One way, one way, the other way, this way, that way. Yeah. When Arda Mishmuel Rav Nachman Amre, when Arda says the name of Rav Nachman, halacha is like kerebil azam nazaria. Right? Even though Rav Nachman cursed anybody that said that anybody that judges like this is what's going to happen to him. <laughs> the Torah is which means which means don't say that it's alakha ken, but rather what happens is come and he says like this if there's going to be a case where we had this like a hag this is what we have okay very good recording five by Ravin, Ravin comes and he asks the following question. What happens if the woman went into the chupa, but she still didn't have relations, and then he died? <laughs> so now remember, one more time. We're talking about, <laughs> right? We're talking about, <laughs> right? The Nisuin and Erusi. We just said that we passed that only from a Nisua, which is 100% married, does she get the Tosef et Ketuba. Here she was 100% married. There was no relations. Right? Why? Right afterwards, right? He died. Yeah? He got all excited and boom, dropped dead oh, right before he, doing it. He realized the situation. So says the Gemara, What exactly is, does it make her have this acquisition? Is it a chupa that they went into the chupa together? That's already they did something? Or the biyah? The biyah. So Tashema, right, we're going to ask the, the, the following. Tetani Rav Yosef, that Rav Yosef comes and he teaches, right? He says like this. He comes and he says, shh, listen. He comes and he says that the Arusa is not going to get the Tosefet, not because he didn't write down, only because of the Chiba of the first night. So Iyam Abishra, if you're going to tell me Chiba Tchupa Kona, that's why he said Laila Rishon. But if you're going to tell me Chiba Biyakona, 
Biyah b'leila rishon ita v'kam elachla. Well, there's only there's only relations on the first night. There's there's relations afterwards also as well. What are you talking about? So says the Gemara. Velaman. So what are we talking about? Velamai fupa fupa b'leila ita b'mamaleta. He says the fupa b'leila is only going to be in the night time and not during the daytime. What do you only do fupa to the night time? No, you do fupa during the day. So what are you talking about then? So for why did he say chibat laila rishon? What's a laila? Or just because of chibat? So he says, okay, fine. Well, Tamech, and according to your reasoning, there's only relations during the nighttime and not during the daytime. Right? If a person is going to be in a dark house, it's not for them to have relations, even though it's during the day. Yeah? So it's a dark house. Yeah? So he comes and he says, so if it's like that, why do we say only nighttime? Yeah? Why do we say nighttime? It's not a question. He says, you know why? He says, You're trying to do certain things. We're teaching you it's the normal. What's the norm? The norm is yeah. right? even if it's going to be permitted during the day with certain conditions. But the norm, what's the norm? The norm is that it's nighttime. So if it's going to be done during the night time, it's going to be done during the night time. Unless so, okay. You, unless you so, want to save some money. Oh, 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 Fupa cash. But what about the chupa? What about the chupa? Yeah, what about the chupa? It's also not a question why. Kevin, the stamp chupa le biya kaim, and since the majority of the chupot, it's for biya. Or a chara kamash malam de balayla. So that's what it's going to be for the night time. Which means, since the lashon layla is matim, whether we're talking about the chupa is kone or biya is kone, so therefore you can't bring any proof from the fact that it said the rishon. Okay, so therefore, from the fact that it does say the Rishon, it's mashma chibat chupa, right? Because that's always going to be the first time. Okay, so by Ravashi, so Ravashi no now for comes. Intellectual attraction. No, that's what you're saying. Yes, so he, now he comes and he asks as follows: By Ravashi, nichnasal chupa upirsani da. What happens if they went into chupa? She became anida. <laughs> yeah, she became anida. Mau, what's halacha? Im tinsal omar. If you're going to tell me now, chibat chupa kona. It has to be a chupa, that be a chupa, which is fitting for the biya. But if it's a chupa, which is not fitting for biya, right? No. Or deal maloshah. Maybe there's no difference. Take who we don't have an answer. But you're listening. We don't have an answer. That means we don't know what's alacha. Right? Why? Because at the end of the day, they have to be fitting or not fitting. And by the way, this could happen a lot of times. Right? This happens tons of times. You don't know how many times I get a phone call. Ah, she forgot the pill. Boom, boom she gets it. Or she was the wrong calculation, and now all of a sudden, it. she got a period. Ah. Yeah, and it's right the story. Yeah, and it's right the story. It's not good. So, by Ravashi, Ravashi, now, so we just said this question, and we just answered the table. Next, the two dots. Rabbi Yudah Omer, Rabbi Yudah says, Remember, according to Rabbi Yudah, he could write her 200 zoos, and she writes him a receipt, I already received 100. So really, he's only paying a hundred. Why? Because he already has a receipt that she he, she received a hundred, even though she didn't. Right? The Sava Rabbi Yuda the Kutvin Shobar. What Rabbi Yuda holds that you could write a, a receipt. But now we learned in a Mishnah Babatra. Me sheaya, right? Me shepara mixat chovo. Imagine a person comes and he pays parts of his debt. Rabbi Yuda Omer Rabbi Yuda says yachlif. What does that mean? He has to destroy right the document right and, and you, write right. a new document. Rabbi Yosef says, Yuchtov lo So that means you see from here, Rabbi Yuda doesn't say write a doc, write a receipt. <clears throat> he says destroy it and make a new document. According to Rabbi Yosef, you write a Shovah. So the question is, how do you just tell me now that according to Rabbi Yuda, he writes to her 200 zuls and then she writes for him a Shovah, a receipt. Rabbi Yuda doesn't hold of the receipt. It's Rabbi Yosef that holds of the receipt. So I'm Rabbi Yemiya, Rabbi Yemiya says, He says, no, the Shovah is inside the Ketubah in itself. Meaning in the same Ketubah where it's written that he gives her 200, she, she's already writing, I received from you 100 in the same one. Meaning document. a separate, exactly, in the same document. A separate document is a receipt, he doesn't hold. But in the same document, yes. Abayama, Abayama wants to answer. Even if you're going to answer that there's no Shobar within the same document. I understand over there, he's going to pay off the part of the debt. Maybe he's going to lose his receipt. And then he comes and he collects with the document. I, I come and say, no, pay up. So yeah, but I, I paid you already. Where's your receipt? <laughs> and he lost the receipt. So it's going to be a problem. And then he's going to collect the second time around. 
Hacha, but over here to do with the forgiving of the loan, right? For sure, he's going to give her the ketubah. Mimta be'alma idamna le'estam. She's saying it. Inat renat. If he's going to watch it, he's going to watch it. Inonat renat. If he doesn't watch it, iudav sinosha. He's losing out for himself. Which means, in a case of a of a loan, we need the document and we need the shovar. We need the receipt. Here, if he doesn't want to keep the receipt, it's his problem. He'll have to pay the real bemet, the two hundred zuz. So if he's mm-hmm. losing the receipt, it's his problem. So therefore, even according to Rabbi Yehuda, he could come and say that yes, you do write a shovar. So says the Gemara, I understand the Bible doesn't hold like Rabbiyah. This Lukatani Shovar Tabel, we never learned that the Shovar was inside the same Ketubah. I Meaning we didn't see that the, the receipt was in the same document. But according to Rabbiyah, why doesn't he hold like Abaye? So that says the Gemara, Gizera Shovar de Hacha to Shovar de Alma. He says, because it's a Gizera, a regular Shovar, right, by a Shovar de Alma. What does it mean, Shovar de Alma? He says, we don't want to make differentiation between one shovar and another shovar. One receipt and another receipt. All receipts are the same. It's either you keep receipts or you don't keep receipts. So for since you have to keep the receipts, we don't want to say, no, no, this one you don't really need to keep. Or if you didn't keep it, we don't really care. No, no, no. You always need to keep the receipts. And because of that, we don't hold this thing of receipts. Tama de Katvale, that's only because she wrote it in. Aval alpelo. What happens now if it's balpe? This is actually one of the questions on the Rabbanut. Right? A person comes and he says, he's going to give a ketubah to the wife. And the wife in front of everybody at the wedding, she says, Ani belev shalem He doesn't have to pay me a penny. What's halacha? Is it good or not good? That's questions. Really so am I? Cool. Right? Why? He says, It's money. And we hold that like from Yuda that says, The Devar Shemmon, It's a good tonight. Imagine a person comes, he gets married to a woman. But imagine how romantic. He comes and he says, you're going to be married to me on condition that I don't have to give you wallow. No food, no clothing, and no relation. Yeah, yeah? but he says it. Al minat. So no, he is married, but it's tana is batel. Exactly. It's tana is batel. It's an elf. He has to give her all those three things. These are the words of Rabbi Meir. But Rabbi Yehuda says, the davar this is to do with money. And to do with money, right, which is basically shared with the suit, now kayam. It is going to be uh, tonight is going to be kayam. Why? Because even though Doraita, you're obligated, but me Doraita, you could be Mukhel. You could be Mukhel Doraita. Right? What does that mean? You owe me money, right? You can be Mukhel. You could be Mukhel. So the Russian mom. So the Russian mom. Huh? So you see from here that Rabbi Yehuda holds the Ketubah the Rabbanan. Therefore, ah, if it's Rabbanan, so therefore, why Bemet shouldn't be? So he says, no, you know why? Because since people are mezalzalim more in the Rabbanans, they made a chizuk in the Rabbanans even more than in the Doraita. So because of that, you cannot make a tnai against the Chachamim. Meaning if it would have been the Doraita, yes, it would have helped. But here, the rabbis, they would have said, many times they would say, oh, no, but it's only the rabbis. Well, Mina Torah, I could do that. So it's only the rabbis, so I could do it. Right? Many times, people come and they say, oh, yeah, but it's the Rabbanan, no? Why? Because once it's the Rabbanan, they can do whatever they want. So, no, no, no. The rabbi is made a chizuk for the words even more than the Torah. So, because of that, doesn't help. So, says the Gimna, what about Perot? It's also Takana the Rabbanan. Right? They love the Rabbanan, the chizuk. They didn't make a chizuk. Which means like this. Imagine right now the zikhut the husband has for Perot. Which means, it's not only just a one-way street. The woman gets everything. The man also gets. What does he get? The perot. She has a property. All the rent goes to him. Right? She has a field. All the fruits go to him. So this perot. So he says, and they didn't make a chizuk. The time was going to be shared. Yudah Menabi Yudah says, Lulam hu ochel pere perot. The husband will always eat pere perot. Sheikh ad sheikh tov lo, unless he writes, tinu de mele 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 until he writes the words that he's not going to have anything, not perot, not perot, 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 nothing at olam, he still gets to eat perot. Nun vava mu bet, 56b. The Kaimalan we pass in. My what does it mean, Kotev, that he has to write it down? Oh man. It means you see from here that it's enough that he just says it. He doesn't have to actually write it down. The fact that he says, then he completely forgives it. But you don't need anything else. You don't have to actually write it. So Amarabai Abai says, everybody gets a Ketubah. But not every single woman gets Perot. Meaning, that only a woman that has properties, the, the husband gets perot. So something which is common, they made a chizuk to the words. But something which is not common, they didn't make it. Which means like this, not every single woman comes in with properties 
write them with houses and everything like that. But every single woman gets a kitubah. So the kitubah that every single woman gets, the chachamim mira chizuk will give him. Ah, the properties that not every single woman comes and brings in, they didn't make a chizuk for the divrim. So that's the gemara. Vare chamarim. What about chamarim? Remember, we're talking about chamarim are people that they are doing, they are taking their uh, camel uh, donkey drivers, right? they come and they take wheat from one place to another place in order to sell. Right? The shchiche, right? That it's also come very shchiach. They didn't make any chizuk for the words. Imagine right now you have these amear atzot. They come into the city. And one of them says, He comes and he says, My merchandise is chadash. So you can't have it. We're starting the chadash and yashan process now. Right? So we're, we're starting right now. His is the yashan. Mine is chadash, his is the yashan. Mine, I didn't take off the turmut masot. And the money do not believe it. Why? Because I'm going to suspect that they did a trick between them. Right? I come and I say that's so the way everyone comes to him to buy. Now the truth is though, his is the more expensive price. And then he's he's dividing the money with me. And we do it purposely. Mm. Right? If they're both going to be the same, yeah. so nobody's going to come. Right? You have to learn business tricks, right? So I'm teaching the business tricks. We come and we say, ah, then we have a, we split it up between us. Right? So I'm not losing out. I do it purposely. So he says, if you don't matter if you don't money, they are going to be believed. So I'm going to buy it. He says, but that did the something that for sure is going to be of their words, which are the rabbis, Asura Banach but if it's going to be a safek, the divrim, remember, Demai is a safek. Demai is a safek. Does the Amar take off Turmoto Masorot or not? So the first same thing, which is going to be a safek, will do Rav Anal Chizu. Rav Amar, Rav comes and he answers, Demai Ekilu, no, there's a special heker, and there's a special leniency by Demai. Two dots. Rabbi Mi, no matter, Rabbi Mi says, Kol HaPochet, anybody that's going to be Pochet from a Betulam Matai, Melmana, right, Mana, it's considered Beilat Zenut. Yeah? Says the Gemara, Kol HaPochet, when it says that anybody that's going to give less than a betula from 200, and he doesn't take all betula time. So even if it's going to be less than a tnai, it's still going to be the same thing. Alma Kasavar, so you see from here, tnai batel, that the tnai is going to be batel. Itla, and she still gets the 200. Now, if he says, that you only get 100, she's not going to rely upon this. And therefore, it's considered relations, immoral relations. Which means the woman, she's not going to rely on it. She wants 200 zoos for her kitubah. When you come and you say to her, no, 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 I'm only giving you 100, she's not relying upon it. So if it comes out that the entire marriage is not a good marriage. So now he's having relations, immoral relations, not having real relations with his wife. We already learned that according to Shittat Rabbi Mi, if you make a condition, a stipulation against that which was written in the Torah, it's Vatel. Right? Why? Because if he comes and he says that he's getting married to a woman on condition that he doesn't give her Sher Kesu Gona, it's nothing. He's still obligated. But if it's going to be the Rabbanan, it's going to be the Rabbanan. So answers the Gimara, Rabbanan holds Ketubah is the right. By the way, you should know this halakha, whether Ketubah is the right of the Rabbanan, is a huge nafkamina poskim. Right? Huge. When I say huge, it's crazy. Right? That the Ashkenazim have in their Ketubah Midoraita. The Chazilech Midoraita. And we take it out. We don't have Midoraita in the Ketubah. Right? We take it out. More than that, if I actually caught it, right? There was a Chabad rabbi that he got married, that he married off a couple. He was Faradi and she was Faradiyah. And it was written in his Ketubah, Doraita. I told him, you have a wrong Ketubah. I said, it's an easy fix. I could take your Ketubah and then I just cross it off. But it was that was the Shita of Rabu that the fact that it was already known that it was for sure a mistake, so even though if I cross it off afterwards, it's still going to be kosher, right? But it's a big problem. It's basu. It's not a good ketubah for Sfaradim because we don't hold that it's right. But Rabbi Mir says it's right. The ketubah is pasul, and therefore he's living with her. He's living with her without a ketubah. So Tanya, we learned to the right that Rabbi Mir, no man. Rabbi Mir comes and he says, "Kol apochel betula mi matayim ulan mana mana harezu biilad znut." Anybody that's going to live give less. And a betula, matayim, and for an almana mana, it's considered be lazlut. Rabbi Yosef Omer, Rabbi Yosef says, Rashai, he's allowed to. Rabbi Yudah Omer, Rabbi Yudah says, Ratzah, kotev le betula shtar shel matayim, he kotev lo yikavat bimcha mana, ulan mana, mana, v'kotev lo yikavat bimcha bimchavishim zuz. Okay? By the way, remind me at 8.35 to tell you something. Okay? V'sava Rabbi Yosef, Rashai, so says what? Rabbi Yosef holds you're allowed to give less than the 200 zuz? Well, meaning we have a contradiction. You never make a ketubah yisham that she could collect from movable objects. Why? Because of tikkun olam. 
Why? Because what happens is all of a sudden he can get rid of it. No, he doesn't have it. Imagine he comes and he says, listen, my watch is for your ketubah. He has a very, very nice watch. Yeah, it's one of these uh, Rolex that's $30,000, right? But all of a sudden he comes, whoops. Also, I, I lost the watch. He sold it. He got the cash. Right? But he lost the watch. So we're not, we don't do that. We don't allow it because we, because of tikkun ha'olam. V'chi amar b'yoseh, says the b'yoseh. V'chi ma tikkun ha'olam yesh b'zeh? What's a tikkun ha'olam? V'alo en kitzvah u'parchatin. It's not ketubim, which means that sometimes it goes down in price. Right? It goes down in value. So tanakama nami yeno sin kamar. You're right. Even according to tanakama, he says you're not allowed to do it. El alav haki yama does what he say. But med, when we know these words, v'shelo ki bel alav achriyu, to be didn't accept upon himself a guarantee. But if you accept it upon himself a guarantee, then you do, you could make even metal to when do we say that he's going to be why you He says that you're not going to be metaltel, and right, and it's going to go down in value sometimes. So he says no. Hashta over there, sometimes it can go down in value, and we're going to suspect or say here that for sure it's going to go down in value. Lokoshke is not going to suspect. So says the what are you talking about? Can you compare both cases? Hatam there, he didn't know about the entire concept that it was going to lose, right? And therefore, she could be mochel on that which she lost. Hacha, but in our case, yada kamachla she knew and she was mochelet. Okay, so after the Rabbi Achama, the sister of the Chama, she was, she, was on the, uh, on the, she was going to be mochelet. And therefore, but now she's going to be mochelet on that which is going down in value. And then we're going to continue tomorrow to do with the sister of Rabbi Achama.